if you like to self-host your applications, you really need to set up Cluify so that your life can be much, much, much easier. So I learned about Cluify because I was looking into self-hosting N8N and, you know, if you were to go straight to the Linux VPS directly, you'd have to deal with terminal and, you know, a lot of different commands that you'd have to run. But what I did was I spent my time figuring out how to install Coolify so that I could have basically a one click install of NADN and a bunch of different other apps like Postgres, Mongo, uh, you know, N8N, I can install all of these apps really simply with one click because I spent the time getting Coolify installed and set up properly. Okay, how do I get this all set up so I can do the magical one click self host, especially of N8N? Well, instead of going through all of the installations on my end, what I'd like to do is point you guys to this video created by Syntax, which is the exact video I use to get set up. So it's called Coolify Crash Course Self Host 101 Secure Setup. All right. So if you just Google or not Google, if you search install Coolify in YouTube, you'll find this video and they've done a really, really good job of explaining all of these details. And if you use Hetzner, which I do, they even provide you with a cloud config example and you'll you'll understand why that's necessary a little bit later on but in order to install coolify this is the video i recommend for you guys to review and uh, get that set up and then we'll talk about what you can actually install with coolify once that's ready the next question you're going to have is okay what can i install with coolify well, here we go. These are the types of things you can install. First off, you can connect your GitHub repository um, where instead of using something like Vercel, you can use Coolify to deploy your web applications or your websites. And because it's connected to your repository, every time you publish to the main branch, it'll go ahead and deploy that to the production site automatically. Very, very easy to do. and because you're using Coolify, you don't actually have to access the server. This is all managed for you. So this is your sort of replacement for Vercel or something like Heroku. If you have Docker uh, related applications or sites, you can use that here. Um, the, the databases that are available, pretty nice list. I don't think you're gonna find uh, anything beyond what you might need. And I know you guys, and we'll get to that in a little bit. So all these you know, very popular databases are available with Postgres. You can install a instance of Postgres that has the vector capability, the vector extension. All right, so those are the databases and you can see here all the different applications, open source applications. This is a pretty nice one if you want to create a rag application without having to do any additional coding or workflow development. Um, so let's just go through here. Look, you guys can see there's a lot of different apps. You know, if, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see, I want to get to the good stuff. Go. If you currently use any of these and this looks like an easy thing to do, you know, go check this out. I mean, MinIO is a really nice one, guys, where this is an S3 re replacement. And so I've actually done that myself. It's pretty nice, easy to do one click install of MinIO and have your own S3 version ready. So here, here's N8N guys, two different options, one with the Postgres or one without, I typically go with the one with Postgres so that that's gonna 
built into the M8 and instance. Again, very easy to do. If you want to deploy the image optimization that is similar to Vercel's image optimization, you can install that here. The other thing I want to show you guys, also here, NoCoDB is like an Airtable replacement. Bolama is available with one click here, guys, which if you're doing AI work, that might be of interest. Just wanted to show you the full list so you guys can see. Quadrant is available, which is a very popular vector store vector database, right? Uh, and as I mentioned, you can also do Superbase. So self-hosting Superbase versus the, the, the hosted cloud version is available here if you wanted to do that. So uh, Coolify is continuously adding to this list of open source applications so that you can have, um, if you are running WordPress, there's also multiple versions of WordPress that you can install. I think Windmill is something similar to M8N. Um, VV8 is another vector database option. So as you can see, a lot of support for AI related work that's going into Coolify and again, it continues to be updated. So check this out if you want to have an easy way to launch m8 instances what you also want to do if you want to deploy these instances is make sure you have separate servers make sure that your coolify is it is on its own instance or its own separate vps and don't install <clears throat> anything on top of that because coolify is your master controller you don't want to ha have anything happen to that server so anything new you do install make sure you install a server and then put these applications on that new server okay so let's get let's do an actual install of n8n and see what this process looks like once you have coolify set up as you guys can see this is my coolify interface and we have a project called n8n instances and you can see here this is currently blank Okay, so in order for us to get started, what I'd like to do is actually add a server because as you can see here, we do not have a server to install any event onto. So where do we go next? As I mentioned, <clears throat> all of my servers are hosted on Hetzner, which is a hosting service that is based out of Europe. They have uh, other locations and servers in the US as well. So as you guys, get, you guys can see here, you know, this configuration, I believe meets the minimum requirements uh, for N8N as well as Coolify. So for under $5, you can have a server ready to go. You can add backup and if you needed IPv6, you could do that as well, but let's do the basic stuff and get that set up. This is the cloud interface for you to be able to add a server. So as you guys can see here, I don't have a server set up. I'll go ahead and add a server. I'll choose Helsinki. You definitely want 22.04, not 24.04 version of Ubuntu. So do not choose the 24. We'll go ahead and pick the ARM version, which tends to be a little bit cheaper, I believe, and also has a little bit better configuration, right? So you can see here, uh, it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and go choose this one, the base level, click go now. We don't need uh, the private network. Let's add SSH key. I will pause this so I can. Okay, so I've added my SSH key here. If you need instructions there uh, on how to create a SSH key, there's some documentation here that you guys can follow. We don't need any of this. I'm not gonna set up a backup for this because it's just a demo server. The other thing I wanna do is, is this cloud config file. What this allows you to do is basically set up a user, identify which keys, which SSH key you're gonna use to access the server and some other configurations that basically eliminate the need to go in and manually config the server once it's set up. So I'm gonna go, I'll, I'll pause this real quick. I'm gonna go copy and paste my cloud config file. So I'll be right back. All right, so the cloud config file is pasted in and I'm gonna go ahead and start the server. 
hit that create and buy button. All right, so this is starting to set up the, the server. And as you can see, there's some activity here. So let's see if that's ready to go. And I'm going to click into this. Uh, okay, let's see if I can access this. I'll be right back once again. Okay, the server is up and running. I'm going to copy this IP address for the new server and go back to our Coolify interface. Before we add the server, we want to make sure that the key, the, the SSH key is added to Coolify and make sure that this key matches the key that you created here when you set up that server, which we, we, we know that it already matches in my instance. So we've created the server, use the cloud config file to help us get that set up. And so now the server is ready to go. Let me get this IP address again. And so here we, we made sure that that key is matching. So let's go back to adding a server. I'm going to call this demo. Here's IP. I put this IP in the description just so that I, I know which server I'm dealing with. Change this to Coolify. And it's already using this, the single key because that's only the only key that's available. So I hit continue. And you can see here, this is pretty much ready to go. We'll validate this. And this will run the Docker install. So, you know, Coolify underneath, it all uses Docker to do all the self uh, one click install. So we'll let this run and I will be right back. Okay, as you can see here, the server is reachable and validated and the proxy server is also running. So for most of what you're gonna do, you don't really need to you know set up anything else other than changing possibly the the proxy server by default this uses traffic i personally like to use caddy so what i'll do is i'll stop the proxy stop the proxy and we want to switch the proxy to caddy and then start the server or i'm sorry start the proxy again and that's it so now the server is properly configured by Coolify and the proxy server is also set up using caddy onto that server that you just ran. So we'll let this proxy run and I will be right back. Nope, never mind. It's already done. That was fast. Okay, so let's go back to projects. We've got the server, we've got the proxy running. We'll go back to projects, any of the instances. So now we're ready to go. And as you can see, there's nothing installed here. And we want to go ahead and add a new resource. And here we're going to install NADM with Postgres. Here we got the information. One thing you guys want to change while you're doing this is the URL of this server. So I'm going to change this to my domain and this sub subdomain on it and make sure it's HTTPS, save that. So, uh, you, you know, you want to make sure your DNS is set up for this, but let's just say, you know, you've got this subdomain ready to go. You've added the IP address and a, a record for this subdomain. So we are now ready server. Caddy, everything's good to go. And all I'm going to do guys here is just hit deploy and you'll see how quickly this thing will actually get an instance of any of them running. Again, you know, we have to spend the time getting Coolify installed, configured, set up properly, but here you'll see this is now downloading all the repositories for Coolify as well as Postgres and checking and installing this all for you with that one click. And then, and for this one, I'm just going to let it run so you guys can see how long this actually takes for you to get, get an ADEM instance running. 
Postgres is going, it's healthy. Now the website. So as you can see, we have a green status bar for Postgres. And now we have a green status bar for the N8 and instance. So let's go up here. You can see that this is a link that we set up. Click on that URL. Boom. There you go, guys. That's it. Now you've got a fresh install of N8N ready to go. I'm not going to go through the setup process because that's something <laughs> you guys can walk through and should be aware of doing. But I just want to today show you how Coolify can be your master controller to get N8N installed with a single click once you have your servers configured. And this also allows you to go back and you know, install many other applications that are available within Coolify, which I've already gone through. So hope this helps you guys and allows you to be a lot more flexible and not have to spend all your time trying to deal with, you know, DevOps related tasks because you've gotten Coolify properly set up and can install a lot of different apps with a single click. Let me know if you have any questions, comments. I'm available via the information in the descriptions. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.